We are at the hand store today at the 2023 Cannes Boat Show. We've got something very, very special for you. It is their launch of the new 2023-24 Hands 410, nominated European Yacht of the Year for 2024. Starting at the transom as normal. As you can see, you've got your gas rams there for drop down, so there's nothing shaking about. I assume there'll be an option for electric. I'll find out for you guys but otherwise manual. They've added a nice step in the middle, which is really, really nice. And nice non-slip Flexi Teak deck. Something hands are really good at is with their bathing ladder. You have nice wide steps, stainless steels, absolutely fantastic. More companies should do it emergency steering and you have an opening hatch which will give you access to your steering quadrant viewers aren't actually subscribers and yet you're returning viewers to our, our channel so you obviously like what we do if you want us to get to bigger boats to be able to do more sea trials we could really do with you hitting that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything takes a few seconds but it makes a massive difference to us on this channel and the more subscribers we get, the more views we get, the more opportunities we're going to be able to have to go out on sea trials, test different boats, and just bring you more and better content. So please consider subscribing, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know one of the things I love about hands is it's a single rudder. Something that will come evident as we look around the boat is their new hull shape. We'll see if we can go forward in a minute and give you a good look. Twin helms on pedestals, which once again, as you guys know, is my favorite. Jeffer steering, so you've got nice direct feel and control. Each pedestal, we'll start over here on the starboard. Nice grab handle, which is awesome. Raymarine chart plotter. Shoon bow thruster. And primary winches, which is a Lumar self tailing 45. Just forward, you have a Lumar 45 as well. Normally, it's an option to have a second winch. Have to check on that. And a nice bank of clutches bringing all your sheets and halyards aft. As true with hands, you see on many of their boats, you have line storage either side for all your tail ends and your electric connection, your throttle controls, engine start stop, VHF speaker there, and your fusion speakers here. I've shown you this before. There lock system for their seats to come down will actually come over to the port helm once again as you guys know i've got a camera in my hand that's done one-handed gives you a really nice seat for your helm position and as per normal nice teak you can sit outward Here's your view from the helm. Got your wheel just here, which is lovely to control. All your instruments. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So while we're here at the port pedestal, once again you have a repeater chart plotter. I love Raymarine. Very functional. <laughs> Autopilot. And as we said, You've got your repeater. Fusion stereo. Here's the electric controls for your winches. Once again, 45 primary, and you have a secondary winch forward. Clutch here for your furler forward, which is nice and handy. It's not too far away. Once again, you can sit at the helm. This is what's lovely about their boats. You can sit at the helm and manage all your systems from here you don't have to get up and obviously it's the same on the opposite tack 
just pick up my camera so I don't knock it in the water. Before we do the cockpit, we'll go around the outside. There's a nice bimini top and obviously forward, which hasn't been put on for the boat show, there is a spray hood. We'll go forward. Easy access onto the side decks. I know some people complain, but I think there's plenty of room to come forward if you have to. The tow rail is nice and high, moulded into the deck, which is brilliant. And your um, lifeline side rails are really nice and high too. Plenty of grab handles forward. And this boat's fitted out with non-slip surface, but there is options if you want teak or um, flexi teak. There, you have some nice solar panels inset non-slip and they're all doing this now which is nice if you remember with the old ones you would have your um, wire block your connection block up here it's all in part of the molded system now so there's nothing to knock off your feet trip over or get a get one of your sheets um, caught on the peters forward which is awesome boom fang German mainsail system, pretty much as standard. I should imagine if you wanted it as an option, it would come with an infurling mast, but for infurling sail, but for a 40 foot boat, I wouldn't bother. Hands self tacking jib, more solar panels, and there's plenty of opening hatches. If you have a look above the saloon over here, there's a very large opening hatch, and then forward. You have two small opening hatches, two large opening hatches, and one here. We'll have a look at the anchor locker. Integrated bowsprit, or you can see it's actually attached with their standard stainless steel bow roller. I should imagine there's an option for a double. I can't see why not. Ball windless, so it's underneath the hatch, hidden away, which is quite nice. And you're anchor locker there how practical it is i don't know i know that nick's been having problems with a 460 um, but you have a remote control and so on which is handy plenty of space a nice wide boat we remember from the 460 that the way they redesigned the hull to give you that extra volume they've done something very similar with this boat to give you extra volume inside it's nice for the pulpit that you have these lovely reinforced stainless steel rails either side for safety very very good outboard shrouds and some of the other manufacturers are copying now it's something i love with hands they've always done this the washboards hide away you don't have bits of plastic or wood that you've got to find a home for. Some nice handles either side of your companionway and obviously your companionway top. I'll do the cockpit in a minute. Four easy steps down and you have grab holds either side and it's now, oh it still smells of fresh wood. This boat was splashed three weeks ago, or four weeks ago, something like that. Um, we're going to start on the port side. This is the two cabin version. It comes in a three cabin version. If you have a look up here, you'll see some dividings in the moulding for, you know, adding for where the partition would go through or extra storage. Like the 460, you can change the interior a lot. I'll leave a link to the website down below and you can have a look at the 3D model and change it. They have a nice L-shaped galley, Corian worktop and twin stainless steel sink, grab rail on the side, hot and cold water. They've got rid of those latches that we saw last year and complained about because they kept breaking. These are much, much better. Soft closing drawers. 
actually they're so much better than the other ones the reason we didn't put the boat tour up last year is going around opening all the drawers we broke a load of the latches and it was a brand new boat this is much better as you can see plenty of storage and there is a pull out fuel bins and water bottle plastic storage once again hands have kept true with their top and bottom opening fridge so you have top access and bottom access so you don't have to go digging through loads of stuff to find what you want you can load it accordingly gas shot off underneath here and you have a two gimbal burner stove and this pops down the back to give you extra worktop or when you're using your cooker there is storage bins behind which is nice and another one over there and you have overhead storage too there is a little bit of storage up here it's not hugely strong and opening hatches either side and one up above obviously if you chose one of the options for a third cabin um, this could be a, a head or um, you know a hanging locker storage area and another opening hatch there there is a side entrance to your engine compartment here most of the bits and pieces you can get to you have your water filter there as you would and underneath here you have a large storage area I mean, if it was just me Sarah and Abby you know and we wanted a coastal cruiser or something to keep in the med this is a, a very very good size we'll do the aft cabin as we're here so you have a queen size starboard side so it gives you an idea of how the cabin size would be on the port if you chose to have three cabins there's an opening hatch here there's not a huge here so there's standing room at the end of the bed um, you know so you can get dressed or change sit on the end of the bed so that's not a big deal you have another opening hatch here a port lighter over there and a hanging cupboard gives you an idea of what it would be like usual the hands light so you have your usb charging underneath and touch on the end red light or white light when you're underway or you're not and just by this cabin will come out just by this cabin is your heads So you can have it manual flush. This is set up with an electric flush. Salt water by the smell of it. Oof. Well, who knows? There's an opening hatch here and one up above for ventilation. There is one find top opening. There we go. You have some storage behind both mirrors and here and there is a single shower with a seat in which is handy hot and cold water for when you're underway close that off it's a very light airy boat this one's been set out with the veneers European oak the hands touch light system so you can change have your you know mood lighting depending on how you want it you can change and fiddle with your lights here it's quite nice that they've put a splash back back here again and over on the starboard side there is a nav area which is big enough to put charts in actually um, work desk you can have this as an extra settee if you want once again i'll leave that link below so you can configure your own boat have your Raymarine VHF radio fusion stereo and for your water heater I quite like that they've gone digital here 
so you have all your switches now they're all touch um, digital it's your master vault system autopilot you know it's all pretty standard stuff I'm gonna change my battery over in a minute and a large storage locker underneath there I'd be inclined to have a freezer put in there so that's my choice unfortunately lost the footage for this section but you have a standard u-shaped saloon city you'd fit four to six around the table two seat seti on the other side and then going forward into the owner's suite which is a standard semi-island double bed with a seti in there sorry we lost the footage we'll get back to it now okay in the cockpit nice large space for all your guests as you can see this one's been set up with both your tables port and starboard drop down to give you some beds if you wish something which they're all doing now which I think is rather nice is you have this lovely central walkway all the way through so there's nothing impeding coming looking aft loads and loads of space let me know what you think in the comments below i think it see you on the next one cheers